Hi, and welcome to another episode of Haltex Technically Speaking. Today, we're here with this seven second turbocharged Hayabusa. Just fitted a Haltech Elite 1500 to Alex from Azapardi Racing's motorbike. Now, as I said before, it's a turbocharged Hayabusa. It uses direct fire ignition, sequential injection, as well as a bunch of features on the Elite Series ECU in order to get it down the track. Like most motorbikes, this Hayabusa has a sequential gearbox. It's also air shifted, so that means that we press our shift button, it punches an air through a solenoid to change, the, change each gear. That signal also goes to the ECU to cut the ignition timing. It allows the gearbox to slip into the next gear with no load on it and then apply full power for the fastest shifts that we can make. We also use the race timer function on this bike. So as we pull a clutch in, the race timer is engaged. As we let the clutch go, the timer starts counting. So we can map a bunch of things versus this race timer. On this bike, we're mapping ignition timing. So we're actually retarding the timing on the start line so that we can get a smooth, consistent launch. We're also adjusting the boost, so the intake bleed, as well as the actual boost pressure as we go down the track, so we can map the boost pressure versus the race time in seconds. Now, we're also using the clutch switch to enable our anti-lag launch control. So as we pull the clutch in, we go into a different set of fuel, ignition, and rev limited tables. So we'll be retarding the ignition timing, we'll add a little bit of fuel, as well as lowering the RPM to a launch RPM, maybe called an auxiliary RPM or a two-step limiter. So on this bike, the launch RPM is around 7,000. Um, the maximum RPM is somewhere around 12,000. The Elite Series ECU rev limiter and anti-lag launch control is now calculated per cylinder. So you'll find that the rev limiter is much, much sharper and keeps you at a consistent launch RPM as well as a consistent main engine RPM limiter. Let's take a look at how this works in the real world. That's all we've got time for today. If you want to know more about the Elite Race Timer functionality, check out the link below. As always, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. My name's Scott, and thanks for watching. <laughs>